prepare to fight. We're done here. Round begins in right. three, two, one. Fight. Get it. TNZ versus Fade. I'm starting out with Slash. Now we've already seen a little bit of his movement. We know what he's capable of. Can FaZe keep up? I mean, FaZe is still doing a great job of just, like, balancing it out again. We've noticed this is a, a common thing. You'll see it competitively where they are just really fighting for overall map control between the different items. Oh, and that yes. also includes small items as well. It seems like they're getting their footing starting out here and trying to figure out what works for each other to engage. Oh, yeah. We have two very fast champions and mm -hmm. you have to gauge each other accordingly. We can also talk about how small their hitboxes are, so that's oh, always yeah. really fun. Especially <laughs> railing them when they're flying across the map. You, have you to really have that need that point. splash damage to help you too with yep. these smaller champions. And you really need that pinpoint accuracy. Yes. <laughs> Ooh, nice racket. Oh, FaZe definitely felt that one. Oh, the rails are brutal. But he is going to be able to get away. CNZ is still on the hunt. He wants it. He smells the blood in the water. This is definitely being careful. He knows he his foe. Yep. Yeah, he heard that heavy, so he knew where he was. Nice aggressive play with that shotgun. And I just love the, the smack talk between specifically Slash and Anarchy. Impressive. Oh, that was so risky coming out of there with 10 HP but securing the frag. Now, FaZe is going to know this. He's going to know that he was rather weak because Slash was making her cries of pain. The question is, is he going to know that now is the opportunity to really push? Phases anarchy so far. It looks like he played it safe. Yeah, he's just, he's playing it safe. But he still have plenty of time to go. We're just now hitting the three minute mark, so he doesn't need to be too aggressive just yet. And it looks like he's trying to get a little bit more of a hold on the control by pushing C and Z away from the items that he has been holding. There we go. But with that, it is gonna give C and Z the mega. And once again, it's going to be a split on the control, both of them being aggressive, both of them trying to get that distance play, and both of them doing damage, but neither securing the kill. Lots of rail peeking, but FaZe is going to have to stay on his toes if he wants to avoid those deadly rails from CNZ or even the shaft. I mean, the shaft can pin you in the wrong situation, so you got to be very careful. Here we go, another bout, CNZ eating a lot of damage, ooh, and FaZe ooh. getting out by the skin Faze of his teeth. It. Another one for FaZe. So, I don't know if the stream could hear this, but on my side, when Slash died and it swapped to Anarchy, one of Slash's longest in-game lines still played, but I was watching Anarchy, and uh, that was fun. Sit up, baby. Yeah, I don't think that's localized. Oh, he's pushing in, punishing CNZ for going for that mega. And he did, but oh, it cost him. CNZ knows this, they both know this. Anarchy keeping distance. Uh huh. Love that. stay on him though when he knows he's low on health. And baited! Yeah, C and Z playing the bait game on the teleporter once again. The teleporter is his ally. 
Faze backing off. CNZ being super aggressive here. He has the push, and there it is. Classic shock and Five minute warning. Okay, at least this time when Slash was talking smack, it was on Slash. Okay, CNZ again can play it pretty safe here. He can get that aggressive play, he can push a little more, add a little more to the board, but he doesn't have to take the fights. Um, he is going to keep trying to deny Phase these power-ups. He doesn't want him to get an edge. But honestly, he's in a really safe position right now. He's taking these fights and he's just melting him right on the spawn. Those three frags back to back and then immediately catching him on the spawn by heavy. Phase is going to have to be aggressive here to push him away from him, let him have a breather. He is, but he's getting in too close with those rockets and rails and shot, super shotgun that he should pay in the price. If he wants oh. to get in close, he's got to get a little bit more movement going. See a little teabag on the Mega from CNZ. I don't think it was intentional as a taunt, but it was funny. He once again securing the heavy, sacrificing the mega in the process, but he knows that he's okay, he doesn't entirely need it. Did he realize that FaZe stole it? He might not have. That will put his timing on it off, potentially. Could be a good, you know, this could be good for FaZe. Nice prediction reels from both of them. Trying so hard to get those cheeky ones. And oh, FaZe will succeed. CNZ having to back off slightly, but FaZe is now on the hunt. Another rail connects, and there oh. we go. Shafted out. Lovely combo from FaZe. And now the tables are turned. FaZe is going on the aggression here. Pushing CNZ he hard on the spawn. Here we Less go. Three this minutes left. Yep. And he is on the aggression right now. Here we go. It's do or die. And he is going for it. Oh, that rail could have connected. It did not. Oh no. Faze is gonna have to back off, but it's okay. He's still able to hold on to the control. CNZ wanting to go snag that mega from him, but he knows he's in a rough position. If he pushes for it now, he could take another beating for it. And he's going to back Don't off, to giving give CNZ the those free dubs. He doesn't. CNZ is once again having to just hold out as much as he can. He's going to try to contest for the heavy. He does not have the health to really push the fight, but he's going to get every lick he can uh, in. But Anarchy's injection is just going to negate most of that. Here we go. CNZ is on his last leg, running for it. There's no power up available. Mega is a fleeting hope, but he's going to have to get through phase to get there. And if FaZe doesn't realize he's going for it, he might succeed. You gotta close in because if you give your opponent too much time to, you know, start re-upping their health and getting all those armor pickups, then you're right back to where you started. Oh, and right into the trail. This could be bad for FaZe. Right back into it. That was so risky of a play. Ooh. Trying to give me anxiety. Real. It, I see. Gonna take it. Oh, both of them are just putting each other on the line, and there we Ooh, go. And takes it. We sick. are five away from tying it up, but there is not the time on the board to There's go a for that. Left. Faze has to push, push, push. He can taste it. He just needs it. The problem is, can he catch Z and Z? He's trying. But once again, CNZ is a quick one. Oh, the rails are so tight. I'm down to these rail fights. <laughs> oh! Oh! Again, they're trying to give me anxiety. All right. Like, not the GG. Holding out of my seat. What a game. Oh, the GGs are called. Ooh, what a game. DNZ still dominating.
See but, where it goes from here. Phase but, is definitely putting up a fight, though. Exactly. Phase is actually like he had the opportunity to really shove it back and the aggression we saw there if he had only pulled it off a little bit sooner that would have been a completely different game because they probably would have been more neck and neck i think we Absolutely. can see that going into the next game honestly a bit of I time feel... was wasted there in the beginning but yeah it's got to be a bit more on it and more efficient and we definitely could probably see a tide change here in the next round all right we're already getting set up for the next round cnz is rearing to go visor and nyx on blood covenant uh, I, I am really hoping that we can see this this aggression out of phase that we saw towards the end of that. I want to see it just right out the gate. And honestly, I really want to get a third map. Ultimately. So too, honestly, this is uh, the toughest challenge CNZ has faced so far. So see how it comes out in the next one. Well, he does have a map under his belt. It could be worse for him. So while he does have quite the train wreck behind him, that does mean he's getting weary. Or, you know, in some cases it does. He might not be. But... You know, FaZe, again, that, that aggression came out just a little too late. But I feel as though, it, had he had that momentum earlier, it would have been so much closer. And I really hope we can see. I'm expecting rail play. Absolutely. You know, Nyx with her invisibility, Visor with his wall hack. I'm expecting a lot of rail play here, especially in Covenant. It is a really good map for it. Um, expecting some cheeky plays from Nyx, typically against a Visor. You got to be a little clever with it because, again, he can see through the, the invisibility. It's, it's going to be interesting. Bit rougher of a matchup, but with two high-level players, it should be a fun watch, for sure. Well, CNZ has proven that it doesn't matter if you give him a squishy champion. He can hold his own. Yes. And then, you know, Visor is a pretty well-balanced champion as far as, like, just generally all around. He's got a good stack on him. He's not too much of a pushover. He's not, you know, scale bear. But at the same <laughs> time, whenever you're competing against somebody... Um, who is equally on your skill level it's not just entirely going to come down to that it's going to come down to uh the strategy you use to utilize against that player like how are they going to see through my strategy and how can i see through theirs you just gotta get a little bit more creative with these matchups exactly As soon as we all load, we'll be getting into round two. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like the loading is the uh, <laughs> the biggest hurdle when it comes to these. I'm having okay. a big issue with that. I need to uh, ask sync error what may be going on. No, don't, 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 don't harass that poor man. <laughs> He's got so many problems to fix <laughs> and quick specifically. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I am gonna start on uh, CNZ since we uh, he's our reigning champion so far in this in this lineup. I can't say he is the reigning it's champion. Okay, there are fight. other people with equally as long win streaks. Yes, but from what we've seen on stream specifically, he's the tiger. So let's go. One fight. I'm interested to see CNZ's strategy as Nyx against Visor here. Actually, just I'm, I'm I'm on the edge of my seat already because I really wanted to see this lineup. I love Nyx and Visor fights. Now you see me. Now you don't. This is my absolute favorite. Oh, and here we go, cheeky play from Nyx right off the bat, getting phase off Peek guard. Move. Oh, this is bad. Visor going down oh. right off the bat. Nyx got the drop. That was literally. That was amazing. literally. Yep. <laughs> oh, and phase coming in rough. He's okay. like, no, 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 no. Hold the phone. Well, he is hurting for that. He paid for it. The question is, does CNZ realize it? He could just place the music here, go for the control, not worry about it. And here we go. Faye is not only taking the Mega, but also popping out the vision. He knows exactly where CNZ is right now. Now he can do the aggressive play and potentially take the lead. CNZ is aware. 
Oh, but he's hurting. What a rail! C and Z holding on by just a thread, but doing fantastic. This is the game we wanted to see here. Back and forth. Def C and Z defending the mega. Oh, and those rails. Oh, point on point on point. They just neither can't one, let him have it. Yeah, neither one really, I would say, has too much of an advantage here. They're both really neck and neck, and this is great. Chat talking it's about instrumental um, in keeping C and Z away from those power ups if you want yes. to maintain control. Definitely. Huh. Is definitely playing it safe here, but he still is. showing a little bit of aggression. Oh, and FaZe is able to get the drop on him once again. They're just both hurting really bad. It could be anyone's game. CNZ does secure the Mega. This is going to put FaZe in a little bit of a rough position. If CNZ can land a couple of good shots here, he will secure another frag. Oh, but FaZe re uh, returning the rail. He's hurt. FaZe can have us in the bag if he pushes a little bit hard. Well, he does know that CNZ can't fight that off. It's a, it's risky to go with a low stack, even if you think you have the win. So he kind of played it smart. I don't blame him. But oh, that rocket jump right into the shaft. Oh, that hurt. That hurt. Careful playing from the both of them right now. This is a very intense match for just three minutes in. Very Definitely close. Less of, yeah, less of a wash than we've seen, and that's what exactly. we wanted. Exactly. Phase is definitely wiping oh, no! out to C and Z. I, it looked like he missed swapped weapons. Maybe it was just my perspective, but then immediately a rocket came out of a machine gun. Brilliant! <laughs> hey, you never know what you're gonna get here with Quake Champions, so... <laughs> that little bit of a lag delay on the perspective <laughs> side. Really blows your mind sometimes, doesn't it? Pretty neck and neck. Coming up on the five minute mark. Honestly, that, that one frag seems like a mile right now. Right? Gotta be careful with those rockets. Oh, FaZe might be able to even it up a little bit, but he's also risking it. Oh! Ooh. And that half a second mm. to pull out mm. the visor cost him. Phase kind of repositioning himself, but CNZ was able to recover. He's not in absolute peak position right now. He did have to sacrifice the Mega. He might be able to take the heavy here. He is still keeping Phase at bay regardless. Five minute warning. Phase, you could hear the visor ult coming out. CNZ was able to definitely pick that up. Trying to get a little bit defensive, still now securing the heavy, knowing now fully don't. aware that Visor was there, and using the Ghost Walk to get out of there clean. That was a nice play from CNZ. Hey, watch. Faze <sighs> not knowing where CNZ is, both listening for the slightest audio cue, and here we go, they see each other! Oh. Boom! Chef. Gotta love the shaft fights. Alright, we heard again. Visor's ult is up. He has full position and low awareness on where Nyx is. But he's gonna be able to secure the frag! No! no. CNZ oh. counterplay. 
lovely rail. DNZ consistently impressing with those rails. Oh, and FaZe almost getting the jump. Does get the damage out there, practically negating that Mega. Oh, and... Oh, just Convince getting out with that Faze had that one. I, yeah, same. I honestly thought he was coming out of that. There's the Ooh, rail! There it is. He wasn't done yet. <laughs> no, can't underestimate that. that. I was about to say patat. <laughs> <laughs> FaZe. Sorry. So he knows where he is, but he's not sure what he's gonna do. He thinks he's gonna go for the Mega. C and Z realizes that and backs off giving it to him. Again, playing it safe because he already has the win. We're approaching the seven minute mark. That means FaZe is gonna have to be a little more aggressive here to secure a tie, at least. And he needs that if we want a third map. So hopefully we'll see a little bit more aggression here, but C and Z is gonna be playing it safe. Oh! oh! What a rail from Speak of the Faze. Devil. Drive by right in the backside. That was what you love to see. Very hot rail from Faze right there. Oh no! Botch rocket jump! Oh, you hate that. I don't know about you, but that is one of the absolute most aggravating things for me is when you go to do a rocket jump and you just fluke. Yep. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's a pain we all share. Oh, it's like nobody saw that. In reality, mm -hmm. everybody saw that. Exactly. <laughs> there's a there's a thing in CFP it's called a sword lunge, and it's the same exact concept. It's like every time you mess up, it's very obvious and it's really funny, and you don't want anyone to see it. But yeah, I think every game has that little that little quirk. And in Champions, it's definitely rocket jumping yourself in the foot. Agreed. Although I can also say, nailing yourself against a wall has been a fun thing that I've <laughs> encountered. It's been two minutes to catch up to CNZ. It's only have a faith. Three drag I have faith, yep. It's not yeah. that large of a gap. Ultimately, it comes down to can he find him and catch him? It has been just the story of the day. CNZ gets a little bit of an advantage, and then it's like, yep. can they just catch the guy? Very, very slippery competitor. You know who he reminds me of? Razy. Because he was uh, really good at doing that. Yes. He, he's really good at just like, you know, ninjaing around the map when he has the advantage and just kind of keeping it at bay and keeping that advantage without really having to risk it. And as much as, you know, sometimes people can call that boring play, but it's a strategy. Especially with certain matchups that you have to keep in mind. Exactly. And Nyx is one of the most notorious as far as, you know, the character you would use in that situation to do exactly that kind of gameplay. You gotta be very careful when you're going up against a Nyx, which is why Visor was a really good pick. You know, it does give you that little bit of an advantage knowing where she's gonna be with the Visor. But again, if you don't know when it is to utilize it, oh, so close. He's like a shark chasing a fish. Oh, but CNZ is not just any fish, he's a barracuda. I thought FaZe had that one again. Maybe he's not done yet this time. Oh, FaZe oh. calls PGs. That's gonna be PGs, it. PGs, yeah. To be fair, 30 seconds and four crags. Oh, that, that's a lot to ask of somebody. Halfway up there, yeah. He definitely challenged CNZ really well in this match. Yes, that was uh, that was quite a match to watch. And those rails, that the this flyby rails were just mwah, chef's kiss. It's good to see more of a challenge up for CNZ as well, you know, not just like these blowouts.